Good afternoon, good morning, <laughs> wherever you are. I really thank God for your manifestation. I truly bless the Lord for the essence that you all are because you are just all amazing and absolutely beautiful in the presence that you are as the Father, as Christ, as Holy Ghost. You are honored, you are blessed, and you are highly favored. I just wanted to share this uh, dimension of a word with each and every one of us. And this word is not for everybody. But if you have been going through uh, immigration uh, challenges, whatever city you're in, whatever country you're in, you've been believing the Lord for a miracle. You've been trusting Jesus for a miracle. The Bible declares, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Can you see that? And in John chapter 10, it talks about him being what? The gatekeeper. He opens the what? The gate that the sheep, you know, they might follow. He says, he, you know, they hear my voice and they follow me. So you can begin to understand that the gates in this hour is being opened unto those who have been going through immigration challenges. Now, I'm just going to begin with a, a dream that I was given many years ago. And I want to give that as a, as a platform because I know uh, the Bible says in the beginning was the word. And then he tells us in the book of Ezekiel that, you know, the, the visions of the Lord came. So this will help a lot of you to understand what the Lord is about to do. Because a lot of you, you have been stranded. Um, we've been talking about this many a time. And I believe I'm going to attach that with this in itself to help us to understand that you know a lot of you you've come into a country that you were not supposed to be in right from the very beginning no you were not supposed to be here but because you heard people talk about what the country looks like how the nation looks like like the book of Ruth chapter 1 can you see what Naomi did did not inquire of the Lord but basically just went with her family and she lost everything so majority of the time it is not the immigration officials that are resisting you is just the land that is resisting you and is resisting you because you were not supposed to be there in the first place because with Naomi she was not supposed to be there because it was only just because of a temporary situation she made a permanent decision but we can see that towards the end of that same chapter she returned because the Lord had restored the people in the country so for many of you, it's a place where the Lord is what? Showing you mercy so that you can go back to where you ought to be right from the very beginning. Because you have to understand if you remain where you are, you will not, you can't, you know, it's a place where thriving can be difficult. I don't want to use the word you can't and you will not, but it's only by the mercy of God. But it's helping you to understand that according to the scriptures, it can be difficult for you to thrive. Because with Ruth, you know, she wasn't thriving until she returned back to where she came from. So you can begin to see. So the Lord is using this opportunity to set you all back to where you need to be. But now he's showing his mercy. So I bless those people with the mercy of God once again. Amen. But now we begin to understand it, that in this very hour, this is what the Lord, this is what is happening. The Lord is doing upon creation. And this is the vision that I was given. Uh, I was given a dream a while back and it went like this. I believe it was just uh, it was a, it was an afternoon. I was at home and, uh, you know, I was just minding my own business. I was at home because I'm waiting for a decision as well, as I've basically shared, uh, this testimony on my journey. And it was a place where, you know, I was there and I was just basically in the house. I was doing my own thing and I saw myself, <laughs> you know, in the dream, I was in the same house that I'm at and I saw myself standing there. And all of a sudden, I saw myself walking to the door and opening the door because the doorbell went off. And as the doorbell went off, all of a sudden, I received a letter. Can you see that dimension? I received a letter and it had my name on it. You know, I saw the color of the envelope and I was like, what is this? You know, what am I looking at? You know, what am I holding? And the person was standing at the door and was looking at me, you know, and they're holding. And he said, sign here. And I signed. And just by the time he left, I tore the envelope open.
And in that moment, I believe, you know, they have what they call a biometric card and it fell out of the envelope. I have never seen one before. I have never held one before, but as soon as it fell off, <laughs> it fell out of the envelope and I'm like, wow. So I saw all my details on it and I'm like, thank God, you know, father, I give you the glory. And in that moment, you know, I woke up from that in itself and I went and what? And I went and searched what it actually looked like. <laughs> and for the first time, I saw what it looked like and it was exactly the same thing. So it was from there he began to help me to understand that majority of each and every one of you, you are about to receive unexpectedly letters from immigration offices, wherever, whatever nations you're in, whatever country you're in, this is the favor of the Lord because Genesis 1 and 3 declares that the spirit of the Lord hovered upon the face of the waters and God said, let there be. So let there be letters. So there are letters that are coming to people in this hour from different dimensions. You know, they're coming and the letter is a letter of good news because majority of you, you're about to receive what has has been held up for a long time. I want to share that from the book of Nehemiah and chapter 2. The Bible declares, can you see from verse 4, the king said to me, what is it you want? Then I prayed to the God of heaven and I answered the king, if it pleases the king and if your servant has found favor in his sight, let him send me to the city in Judah where my ancestors are buried so I can rebuild it. Then the king with the queen sitting beside him asked me, how long will your journey take and when will you get back? It pleased the king to send me, so I set a time. I also said to him, if it pleases the king, may I have letters to the governors of trans Euphrates, so that they will provide me a safe conduct until I arrive in Judah? And may I have a letter to Asaph, keeper of the royal park, so he will give me timber to make beams for the gates of citadel by the temple, and for the city wall, and for the residence I will occupy. And because the gracious hand of my God was on me, the king granted my request. So I went to the governors of the trans Euphrates and gave them the king's letters. The king had also sent army officers and cavalry with me. Can you see that in itself? It says, when Sambalat and the Haronite and Tobiah the Ammonite official heard about this, they were very much disturbed that someone had come to promote the welfare of the Israelites. So you can begin to see the king was basically asking because Nehemiah had been sad that he was there and his, you know, his place where he came from, it's in ruins and he wanted to go and repair it. So this is where you're beginning to understand, like I said, for 2024, which began in September, according to the Jewish calendar in 5384, I believe they're about. And it's helping us to understand that this is the dimension. I think it's 5834. <laughs> I might have missed that together. So it's helping us to understand that this is where the hand of the Lord is upon you and upon the government in this time. And now, because of where you ought to be, he's basically stirring the hearts of the government in this hour. And this is where you have found favor in the sight of the Lord. And now they're going to begin to issue letters. You can begin to see when I was reading that letters, 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 letters is basically the highlight of that chapter. And it says what? They're going to begin to release letters onto people. Can you see it? So suddenly a letter will come to you. So it might be that you've been trying to make application and the Lord has said, hey, you know, don't worry about it. I'm going to do it a different way. So in this hour, because I remember a time, I believe it was in 2010, thereabout, you know, 2010, you know, where suddenly, you know, letters were arriving in the hands of, in the houses of people. And, you know, the government was basically issuing and saying, hey, if you've been here for this length of time, you know, submit your documents and things like that. And they began to grant a lot of people. Can you see that dimension? They were granting a lot of people in that hour. So for this hour, whatever nation that you're in, the hand of the Lord is upon your government. And this is where you're going to begin to see. You're just going to begin to receive letters. For some of you, you might have made that application before, and now you're going to see, they're just going to send you your, your documents back. They're going to send you that you've been granted. All of that is just going to come to your door. 
anymore. It's not by power nor by might. You know, I was speaking to each and every one of us that the anointing that you are is breaking yokes. So that yoke of what stagnancy concerning immigration is breaking off. So you're going to begin to see it. Be expectant for letters are arriving through your letterbox, through your door post, you know, whatever it is that it comes through. You know, this is where you're going to begin to see, you know, delivery vans. They're just going to appear in front of your door. We have been required to give you this and they will drive off, you know, because the hour has come for you to move into position. Can you see that? He said that I may go and repair. So for majority of you is to go to where the Lord has already ordained for you to be in so that you can go and occupy the place that he has prepared for you according to Psalm 23. For I have prepared a place, I have prepared a table for you in the presence. So you can see in verse 10 of Nehemiah chapter 2 that he prepared a table for Nehemiah in the presence of Horonite, Sambalat, to buy it because when they heard about it they were disturbed because someone had come so you can see that this news is going to disturb those who have been against you why because it is time for you to enter into the fulfillment of what your time of what god has called you to do in this time it has been long that you've been awaiting for it it has been long that you've been believing god for it and now this is what is happening upon creation so the manifestation of this is going to be in ascent acceleration because there shall be no more delay so right this minute you might look at your tv and they're saying something else but behind the scenes they are preparing for you and this is where you begin to understand that it is time i am releasing it to you so get ready pack your bags get ready if you're in the place where you ought to be get ready because you're about to move into a new dimension for this is your promotion this is your elevation this is where you're going to see the glory and the power of the most high God move in dimensions like you've never seen it before. Can I read another chapter to each and every one of us? The Bible says in the book of Esther, I believe, you know, majority of you, you probably have not read this dimension before and it will be a place uh, uh, that you will see it and the Lord be the glory to basically encourage you. So I have to help you to also understand that the scripture is in the description box. So please take time out, check the, 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 the scriptures. You can take it and use it in a place of thanksgiving. So it's a place like I shared with you. This is not going to be by a power nor might, but by the spirit. Remember in the book of Acts chapter 12, the Bible says, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto Peter in what? In prison. And he said, put on your garments and follow me. So this is where I'm helping you to understand that an angel has been sent ahead of you to prepare, to bring you to the place. So this is the dimension of the heavenlies. Why? Because it's, the, the solicitor couldn't do it. They tried. <laughs> Can you see that? You know, those that you basically, uh, you know, ask for help, they tried. They couldn't do it. And some of you, the Lord had been telling you, don't go to Egypt to go and ask for help because you who is being helped and the Egyptians who is trying to help you, they will both fail. So this is where you're going to begin to understand that the angel of the Lord is the one who is doing this on your behalf. So some of you are going to get unexpected phone calls and emails. Why? Because the Bible says in the book of Esther chapter 8, he says, when Mordecai left the king's presence, he was wearing royal garments of blue and white, a large crown of gold and purple robe of fine linen and the city of Susa held a joyous celebration for the Jews it was time of happiness and joy gladness and honor in every province and in every city to which the edict of the king came there was joy and gladness among the Jews with feasting and celebrating and many people of other nationalities became Jews because the fear of the Jews had seized them so you can see, this is where you're understanding. He said, there is joyous celebration happening. Can you hear the sound of celebration? Can you hear the sound of happiness? Can you hear the sound of joy? Can you hear the sound of gladness? Can you hear the sound of honor? Why? Because the edict of the king has come. What is the edict of that king? For you to receive your, your stay. For you to receive your immigration papers. For you to receive that good news of what you have been waiting for. And the Bible says there was joy and 
and gladness among the Jews with feasting and celebration because it is time for you to celebrate. Many of you have waited. Many of you have believed and trusted. You've held on in faith. While others were going forth and doing what they needed to do to get it, you decided to be still and know that it is God. And the Bible tells us, it says, and many people of other nationalities became what? Became Americans, became British, became, you know, became whatever nation you're in, became Canadian, became whatever nation you're in. It says that what? And many people of other nationalities became. Why? Because of the king's edict. So be expectant because the Bible says at night, the Pharaoh summoned Moses and he said, get out of my country. So you can see it was not Moses who went to meet the king. It was the king that summoned him and said, get out. So you can begin to understand it. This is where the king is writing the edict and they're saying, hey, you've been granted. You've been granted. You've been granted. You've been granted. It's time. It is time. It is time. So I release this over each and every one of you. I bless you so very much in the presence of the Most High. Be expectant because this is going to begin to manifest as this word basically reaches you. As this word reaches you, as this word reaches you, it has been established already. So as it reaches you, there is a manifestation. In Jesus' name, Amen and amen. You are the blessedness of the Father. I love you all. Stay blessed because your hour has come. Amen.